China continues to astound and steal a march on its Western counterparts with new types of weapons and missiles. The latest example of this is when the People's Liberation Army Navy released a video clip depicting a hitherto unknown missile being fired from a Type 055 guided missile cruiser. The new weapon is presumed by most commentators to be an anti-ship ballistic missile, which analysts refer to under the nomenclature of YJ-21. If the initial analysis of this YJ-21 is correct, then China becomes the first country in the world to operationally field such a missile from a naval vessel. The YJ-21 was fired from the warship Waxi, a Type 055 cruiser that had been commissioned in Qingdao just a month earlier, in March. Its launch from an active duty ship indicates the missile is almost certainly now in PLA service. The new Chinese weapon has small fins and a biconic nose. The missile's small control surfaces suggest it is not a surface-to-air missile, a class that needs to be extremely maneuverable in order to hit fast-moving aircraft. The YJ-21 was cold-launched from Wax's stern vertical launch system, meaning it was expelled from the launcher cell by gas, before the missile's own engine ignited once it was in the air and clear of the ship. Chinese VLS cells can accommodate missiles up to 9 meters long and with an 850 mm diameter, so the YJ-21 must be within these parameters. No performance specifications are yet known of the YJ-21, but its range could speculatively be anywhere from 1,000 km to 1,500 km. Reportedly, the YJ-21 with a terminal velocity of Mach 10, or 10 times the speed of sound. Its heritage being still murky, the YJ-21 may have been developed from the Chinese CM-401 missile, which is comparable to Russia's Iskanda short-range ballistic missile. When the CM-401 debuted in 2018, it was said that it was destined to be fitted on warships in the future. However, the YJ-21 adds a large booster compared to the CM-401. The PLA already fields the DF-21D anti-ship ballistic missile, though it is launched from land-based vehicles. Obviously, the DF-21D range of approximately 1,200 km is limited to waters less than this distance from the Chinese coast. The YJ-21 can be viewed as the naval equivalent of the DF-21D, giving Chinese naval warfare a major boost in capability since the missile can travel anywhere in the world's oceans aboard ships. The YJ-21 greatly extends the strike range of Type 055. Even though the YJ-21 range does not have to be that great to present a serious threat. Although it can presumably receive targeting information from other assets, if the YJ-21 utilizes the ship's own sensors, instead of relying on a complex and perhaps vulnerable chain of satellites and drones, the new missile could be extremely effective. Armed with this new class of ballistic missiles, Chinese Type 055 thus become arguably the most potent warships in the world thanks to their long-range firepower. It is as yet unclear whether the YJ-21 will arm other planned warships such as the modern Type 052D destroyer. The Type 055 cruiser, which displaces some 12,600 tons, is a very important platform for the plan. It is able to roam the world's oceans on its own merits or accompany Chinese aircraft carriers as part of the carrier's protective umbrella. Type 055 carries HHQ-9 SAM, YJ-18A anti-ship missiles and U-8 anti-submarine rockets in its 112 VLS cells, with 64 located forward and 48 near the stern, as well as the newest YJ-21 missiles. 
In addition, there is a bow-mounted HPJ-45A naval gun of 130mm caliber, a HPJ-1130mm close-in weapon system, CS-55mm anti-diver rockets and a 24-cell HHQ-10 point air defense launcher. Illustrating the newness of Type 055, the plan only commissioned the first of these guided missile cruisers in 2020. In that same year, China launched the eighth hull of the class. Type 055 ships have been built by two different shipyards and, so far, six vessels have been commissioned into the North Sea Fleet in Qingdao and the South Sea Fleet in Sonia. In the meantime, however, new armaments such as the YJ-21 ship-launched ballistic missile, and this air-launched ballistic missile, represent a grave threat to naval and land targets. They also signal the tremendous progress that China is making in weaponry, and in many ways leaving the USA in its wake.